Okay, let's get started. So we'll go back to our administration console. I'm logged in here with my admin user. And in creating an API user, I have two options. The first is I can go ahead and use the default API user that's been created for me, which is the SF API. So if I click on that, I see that I already have a user. And if I was just doing a demo or some testing, that would be fine. But really, we want to set up our own API user that we have control over. And for that, let's go back to our admin console. And we want to go to our tools area. And we're going to choose import employee data. And then I'm going to choose download template. And then under the select an entity, I'm going to do basic import. And then I'm going to choose generate template. And that's going to create a CSV file that will be downloaded to my desktop that I can then fill in the information for my API users. Okay, so I opened up that download in Excel and I filled in the information that we needed. So our status is active. I have a new user ID, SFAPI2. My username can be the same. My first name, I'll use API. My last name, I'll just put admin. You want to have an email, so you're going to use your email. For manager, we're going to have no underscore manager. For HR, we're going to have no underscore HR. And then over in the default locale, we'll put in uh, English or EN underscore US. So once I filled in that information on row three, I'm going to go ahead and save that file. I'll just save it to my desktop for now. Let's go back to the admin center. We're going to go back and choose import data. And then for the entity, we're going to use basic import again. And now we can browse to the file that we just saved to the desktop. And then we want to click on the validate import file data. We always want to validate before we import. So if it validates, you should see the successful message. Now, the fields that I chose for my uh, information on my API user were um, just for this sales demo. Obviously, you may have other imp fields that are required in your organization, um, but typically the API user doesn't have a lot of detail involved because it's, it's a technical user used just for the consuming or, or uh, invoking the APIs. And now that we've validated, we can go ahead and click import. And if you want to then see if your user exists, 